good afternoon. Today we are in an urgent care centre and we've got a patient presenting with some symptoms that we're going to examine and prescribe some medications for. Good afternoon. Now, my name is Magda. I'm one of the nurses working here. Hello. Can I please confirm your name and date of birth? It's, it's Jo Smith. Yeah. Um, 261268. Brilliant, okay. Yes. Fantastic. Can I call you Joel? Of course you can. Okay. So Joel, what brings you here today? Well, um, I've been having a few problems over the last few days with um, this, 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 um, this urgency and frequency to go for a wee and it's, it's really uncomfortable. I feel a bit stinging when I'm having a wee and um, it's keeping me up at night. It doesn't stop. It just carries on day and night. And, um, I don't, I don't, I feel a bit weary, I feel a bit weary with it as well, I, I've just not felt myself, um, <clears throat> so that's why I thought I'd better go and see someone. Yeah. Okay, okay, so when did it start, this? Um, it was about three days ago when I noticed it. Okay, brilliant, um, and um, how often do you think it would pass urine? Uh, sometimes every two hours, but mostly every hour, especially at night. So it's just been, it drives me potty, day and night, just constantly having to go. And then when I go, I'm, I'm not passing loads, but it doesn't half hurt. Okay. But I'm passing something, you know, it, it's just that it's really uncomfortable. Uh, except for pain and discomfort when you're passing urine, have you got any pain anywhere else? No, I wouldn't say so. I mean, you know, it feels a little bit tender just above my bone there, um, but no pain anywhere else. It's, it's That doesn't bother me, no, I haven't noticed, yeah. Okay. Um, and except for tiredness, have you got any other symptoms or complaints? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say so. I just feel a bit, a bit rotten, <laughs> but apart from that, no, nothing else. Okay. It's a bit weird. So what do you think is happening to you? Well, a couple of years ago I had something similar and um, I had some antibiotics prescribed for a urine infection I think. And it kind of feels a bit like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it feels similar to that. Um, so that's why I thought I'd better come and see someone. You know, because it's not clearing up. It's, I know it's only been three days but I just feel rotten. Are you concerned about anything? No, no, I'm not really concerned. No, and just about that, but nothing yes. else. And what would be your expectation? What would you expect from us? I suppose that I was kind of thinking or hoping that I would get some treatment, like okay. an antibiotic or something, to help clear it up, and okay. you know, get rid of these. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be asking you lots of questions and okay. I'm going to examine you if that's okay Yeah. Uh, to check if this is something that we would treat with yeah. you know, antibiotics or what treatment would be the best kind of option for you because there might okay. be like, some other treatments as well, okay? Okay. Uh, have you, so what's your past medical history? Um, nothing major really. Um, I've, I'm really... Well, I, I don't normally have, I don't have any health problems, you know, um, maybe a slight bit of arthritis, you know, but nothing, nothing at all. How about past surgeries? Have you had any surgeries in the past? No, no, no surgery. Okay. And are you on any regular medications that would be prescribed by your doctor? No. You're not taking care No, no, not nothing at all. Okay. How about like medications that you would buy yourself from like pharmacy or supermarket? Are you taking anything? Just paracetamol that I like to have in the house, that's all, but I don't take it regularly. It's just if you have the odd mm. pain or headache, but I don't take that regularly. How about herbal remedies? Are you taking anything like that? No, no. Okay. I have bought vitamin C though. Okay, vitamin C. Vitamin C. Okay. And are you allergic to anything? Yeah, actually I am. I'm, I'm, apparently I'm allergic to penicillin. Okay, penicillin allergy. Okay, anything else? Uh, like food or in a... No, no foods. Not allergic to any foods. Okay. And in your family, um, 
has anybody experienced any kind of other uh, diseases or illnesses that would present in a similar way like this what you're presenting with today? I don't think so, not that I know of, no. no. Okay. okay, so do you want to, do, do you mind if I ask you about your social background? No, it's fine. So what's your living situation? Um, I live alone at home, three bedroomed house, um, close to my family who are usually in and out of others, each other's houses, you know, busy with grandchildren. And um, yeah, and that's it, yeah. Do you own the property? I do, yes, yes, so it is my own, yeah. yeah. Um, and what's your occupation? Um, work at Tesco's, mm -hmm. three long days a week. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, free for the rest of the week. So that suits me. It's just a local shop, dead near. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. And do you smoke? Uh, I like to say not really, but I do have the occasional one okay. sometimes. You know, if I'm having a drink or something like that, I might pinch a cigarette off someone. Um, so, yeah, I do really occasionally. Okay. Is it every day that you would smoke? No, no. Say about once or twice a week. Oh, okay. And do you drink alcohol? Yes. How often? Uh, if I'm off at a weekend, I'll have two glasses of wine. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, I'll have a couple in the week. Okay. You know, so... Yeah, I'm okay. Like, yeah. And do you take any recreational drugs? No, I don't, no. Okay, and what are your hobbies? Um, I like spending time with my family, going out with them. I like reading. Uh, I like watching films. Occasionally go out for a walk, but I don't go out very often. Don't do much exercise, if I'm honest. Great. And at the moment, um, except for this burning sensation and urinary frequency, yeah. uh, are you experiencing any tiredness, obviously? Uh, are you experiencing any other kind of symptoms or uh, things that you, you noticed? I mean, like anything... Like shortness of breath, no. or cough, no, um, no, and a, and a, I don't know palpitations, like mm. think like your heart is pounding. No, can't say I have no. And I feel like that. Okay. And the problems with like uh, your bowels. Are you opening your bowels? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Usually every day. Every Sometimes day. twice a day. Okay, and is it normal? Yeah, normal. No it's mucus, nothing. no blood. No, no. Okay, no constipation. No, no. Um, I, occasionally I do get constipated, okay. but it's. I've always been like that, but it's only occasionally. Yeah. You know. Okay. And any problems with your liver in the past? No, nothing like. No, mm. never had liver problems. Okay. And you no? Are you getting any headaches? No. Double vision. No. Nothing like that. Yeah. Okay. How about your uh, muscles? Are you experiencing kind of muscle cramps or any? Muscle pain, anything like that? No, I wouldn't say I have. Okay, how about your, I know that about the urinary frequency. Mm. How is your kidneys, have any problems with your kidneys in the, in the past? Not that I know of, no. No. No history? No, nothing at all. Okay. And how about your mental health? Have you, are you worried about anything or? can't say I am really, just general family little things that I worry about, you know, but nothing that would stress me or make me, you know, bothered. No, I think things are really, really reasonably okay. And yeah. your mood is fine as well? I think so. Yeah. You said that you've got a little bit of pain in your yeah. lower abdomen. Yes. Is there any pain anywhere else? No, no pain anywhere else at all. No mm. pain in your uh, flanks or anything? Mm. Any no. Is that your back? Yes. No, 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 no. back pain, no, no any, nothing. That's fine. So, Joe, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to examine you. I'm going to check your vital signs and maybe we can just have a feel of the lower abdomen just to check um, what is happening there. Absolutely. Yeah? Is that okay? Yes. And then uh, I'm going to ask you as well to provide me with a urine sample. Yes, certainly. Okay. Uh, and then we will kind of, you know, check your urine sample, I'll, I'll check your vital signs and then we will have a chat and see what we can do for you, um, you. if we wanted to yes. treat you for this. What we've got. So let me just wash my hands, I'll just put some gloves on and then we will examine you. Let me feel the lower abdomen. Okay. Is it tender? 
tender, just on the yeah. ends tender. How about just here? slightly, oh, slightly okay. bit tender when you on touch, you know, but, but okay. okay. I know you said that you don't have any pain in your back, but I'm gonna just uh, quickly palpate, yeah? Is that okay? Absolutely. Anything, any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Okay, great. I, I mean, your vital signs are fine, so your blood pressure is 125 over 72. Your heart rate is 75, respiratory rate is 18, temperature is 37.7, so it is a bit higher, but so yeah. I, don't, I don't think there is any concern just yet. There's okay. nothing to be worried about. And you've got uh, sets of 98, so that's fine. But when I was checking your skin jaw, I could see that your skin turgor is a bit decreased. Okay. How much fluid do you normally drink per day? Um, about six or seven cups of coffee. I, I love my coffee. You love your coffee. How about water? Do you drink any water in between? Mm, no, okay. not really. Okay, so what I would suggest, Joe, because coffee can make you dehydrated, okay. okay, and dehydration is a main contributing factor to having urinary tract infections. If I would, I would suggest for you to maybe reduce your coffee intake and then okay. have some water in between. When you are hydrated, um, those urinary tract infections are less likely to occur. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna check your urine now. So I'm gonna dipstick your urine just to check what we find inside. Okay, so on this uh, on this test I can see some nitrites and some leukocytes in your urine as well as some kind of blood. I mean okay. I can't see any blood in yes. you know in this but it's yeah. very dark. dark. So, so okay. you see this this shows that uh, you're yes. dehydrated and it's yes. cloudy as well and I can smell it. Um, yeah. So uh, it's, it's an awful yes. smell, so it's, okay. you've got signs and symptoms of lower urinary tract infection. It okay. did not travel up, yes. so I'm not concerned. So, what we're going to do, I think, we will consider antibiotics, okay? Yeah. What do you think about antibiotics, Jo? Um, I, yeah, I, I'm happy. I, I, I think I've had antibiotics before in the past when I've had this complaint um so yeah but i, I just um I think like i said I, I know i'm allergic to penicillin yeah you are allergic to penicillin oh, yeah i've made a note of that before so what we're going to do there is a um i've got a guidance or a local guidelines here about prescribing antibiotics so we live in manchester so it's greater manchester antimicrobial uh, guide guidelines um and they actually recommend uh, an antibiotics that uh, for, as a first line of treatment for urinary tract infection for lower urinary tract infection they recommend an antibiotic that, that is called nitrofurantoin yes. so i'm gonna kind of prescribe you this antibiotic yes. and it's safe in people with yes. penicillin allergy yes. and it's one of the safest antibiotics that actually is yes. out there yes. for treating urinary tract infection but what I'm going to do as well and I'll explain in a minute why I'm gonna send your urine sample to the yeah. microbiology lab okay. just to check if they can advise us what type of bacteria is it okay. and this is because if nitrofurantoin did not help you, then we would like you to come back. If those symptoms okay. don't uh, go away yes. when you complete the course of antibiotic, yeah. uh, then we would like you to come back or to contact your own doctor, your own GP. Okay. Okay. Because then, and then if we've got that sample back, we will know if this is actually appropriate antibiotic yes. for um, okay. this particular kind of infection. Yes. It's gonna be only a prescription for three days, okay. and this is this is uh, you know in yeah. line with our guidelines. Okay, yeah. so yeah. I would want you to take these antibiotics twice a day yeah. for three days. Yes. Okay. Are you are you got any difficulty with swallowing? No, no, no not you're fine. Yeah, yeah. So you should be okay with capsules. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna. Fine. Yeah, I'm gonna prescribe you some capsules. Okay. Okay. If you can just make sure that you space the doses. Um, throughout okay. the day so take it every 12 hours okay, okay? Uh, right. and try to take it with food or just after food uh, okay it, it will help you okay you need to complete the course it's only three days it's okay. only six tablets okay so uh, please complete the course it's very important because Absolutely. otherwise some of yes. the bacteria may live and then they will cause you further trouble so we just need right. to make sure that the antibiotics that wipes complete them. the yeah. course right yeah. yeah it can discolor your urine okay but that's nothing to be worried about okay. it's a normal kind of you know thing that this antibiotic yes. would do to you 
Uh, this antibiotic doesn't have many side effects, but it may, you know, it's not very frequent that people would experience any, any, any kind of uh, discomfort or any kind of adverse yes. drug reaction. Some of them are yeah. like, I don't know, you, you may feel a bit dizzy or you may have some cough or some respiratory uh, yeah. conditions. I don't know, some people suffer with diarrhea, but as I say, it's very rare yes. when somebody would um, suffer. Yes. Um, with any of that. Are you happy with this plan? I'm, I'm really happy, that's great, yeah, that, okay. I'm really grateful, thank you. No problem. What I would suggest as well, Joy, if you feeling really um, in pain yeah. and feel this discomfort while passing urine, I would suggest taking paracetamol as well, Yeah. Uh, just okay. for your own comfort and it will kind of help you, yeah. you know, to, to, to feel a bit better. Okay. Uh, so again, two yeah. tablets, four times a day, or no more than eight tablets within 24 hours, okay? I'm not right. going to issue a prescription for no. that because you've got some at yes, home. Yes, I have, I have. And, and yeah. you used it, you know, yeah. um, in the past, so. Yeah. What I'm going to do um, now, I'm going to just complete my records, okay? okay. Um, I'm going to send the letter to your doctor, to your GP. Is okay. that okay? You happy yes. with that? Yes, And the reason why I'm sending a letter to your doctor is because, if, as I say, if your symptoms don't go away, yeah. um, then... Uh, hopefully by then we will have the sample back and then we can okay. check if this is the right treatment oh, right. Um, Lovely. Yes. for, for, for yeah. your kind of symptoms. Okay, so uh, let me just finish that and let me just write you a prescription for nitrofurantoin. Okay, so yes. it's... Um, so can I just confirm your date of birth? Is it 26th of this? 12th, 12th 68. 68. Perfect. And... Uh, you said you're Jo Smith. Where do you live, Jo? Uh, number 8, Plumberry Avenue. Yeah. And that's M12 yeah. 3AB. Perfect. So I'm going to write the prescription. So it's 100 milligrams, modified release capsules. Take one capsule twice a day. And that means you're gonna be issued six capsules from the okay. pharmacy. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for coming. Here is your prescription. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your help. So just one more thing, Joe. If you okay. at any point start feeling worse, yes, uh, like feeling that you're starting with fever or you start feeling any pain in your lower back or anything like yes. that, or you can see visibly blood in your urine, okay. I would strongly encourage you to come back as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, I, would strong, I would strongly advise you to ring uh, 111 or 999, okay? okay? But don't wait. If you start having those symptoms and yes. if you start vomiting, feeling really sick, yes. then you know, don't wait That's because that can mean that this uh, bacteria is traveling up your urinary tract and it can cause ah. a kidney infection, so we don't want that. Right. You know, yes. Happening, yeah? Yes, absolutely. Thank you for your advice. Yeah. Thank you. Have you got any questions you would like to ask me before you go? No, I think you've told me everything I need to know. Thank you for your advice and I'll, I'll drink more water. Thank you very much, Jo. You look after yourself. Take Thank care. You. Best of luck. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.